Hello viewers, we'll be going over silver. In this video, we'll be going over the day-by-day -day probability model, how we find the models, and the forecast model for silver in the next coming days. So back to the technical analysis. Today, we're down three basis points. On the one-hour chart, we are starting to approach to negative MACD. As for the four-hour chart, we were touching overbought RSI. We start to see a convergence, I mean divergence in play for the four-hour MACD. As for the daily chart, we made a nice reversal on the MACD. We saw a convergence in play, and we're not quite at the end of this reversal yet, so I do see silver climbing a little bit higher or in a sideways play action. So at the moment, we see a possible support level around the price of the 50-day moving average, this orange line. So that support is around the price of $17.55. So we have that support. If we do manage to head back lower, or make a, another reversal. And if we continue to head up higher, the next resistance that I see will be where we left off around back in September 24th of last year, around a price of $18.70. So that is our next resistance if we were to head up higher. And that price movement is roughly around 2% to the upside. And to the downside, it is around 4.2% to hit back to support levels. So back to the day-by-day -day probability model. As the day progresses to the seventh day, we see a slight favor to the downside. We have a 50% chance for silver to climb down or decrease between 0 to 7% or negative 6%. And on the extreme case, we see a 10% chance for silver going between negative 7% to 13% down. On the upside, we see a 30% for silver climbing between 0 to 6% and a 10% for silver climbing between 6 to 13 percent up so again this model is now available in the link below so do check it out so we'll now go over the day-by-day -day forecast for silver so we have one day out two days out three days out four days out five days out six days out and seven days out so which one of these models we should focus on ideally the model that is the best match to the current trend right here we have the current trend and below is the trend that i believe is the best match this trend dates back to October 5th, 2007 to January 7th or January 2nd, 2008. So let me point out why these two ch charts are similar. So what we have here in the beginning of the trend, we started off at the middle Bollinger Band. And then we proceeded to climb higher to touch the upper Bollinger Band at this instance. And afterwards, after touching the upper Bollinger Band, we see a slight dip touching the bottom Bollinger Band. And finally, we have it make another reversal to touch the upper Bollinger Band once more. So we have those points there. So let's just mark this. So that's the current trend. Now we review the trend in question. We start off in the middle Bollinger Band. And after touching the middle Bollinger Band, we proceeded to climb higher at the upper Bollinger Band. And after upper Bollinger Band, we see it take a dip at the bottom Bollinger Band. And then finally, we see it make a reversal to touch the upper Bollinger Band once more. So we have those points there. What we have is one, two, three, four points. We also have one, two, three, four points. So there is reason to believe that the trends and patterns are the same. The outcome and forecast should be fairly the same. So the model that we just examined was October 5th, 2007 to January 2nd, 2008. Back then, silver was up around 6.8%. So we may see silver climbing to the upside. And if we head back to the day-by-day -day probability model that coincides with that 10% chance for silver climbing between 6 to 13% up. And I do see silver climbing to the upside or at least playing in the sideways price action. 
Again, this model is now available in the link below, so you do check it out. If you enjoy this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.